Stop wasting time juggling various product mockups. As of today, Printify mockups are live inside my designs. This means you can use Printify mockups when publishing Printify products within my designs. You can even mix and publish Printify products and mockups with my designs mockups and even your own custom mockups directly to your store in seconds. Now combine this with our powerful publishing profiles and multi-product publishing features and you have the fastest, most customizable workflow ever. Let's go. All right, let's jump right in. I'm on the listings page in my designs. I have a few uh, demo graphics here, demo designs we can use for this example. I'm gonna show you how these Printify mockups work and just how intuitive and streamlined this will make your workflow. So I'm gonna select all four. And before we get started, if you're new to my designs, you just sign up, you go up to your account settings, go over to the partner settings, connect your Printify shop, and then make sure your Etsy shop or Shopify or WooCommerce, wherever you're selling is connected. And then you can follow along after this. You'd upload your designs and you'd end up where I am here on the listings page. All right, with that being said, I have all that done. So let's go publish. I'm gonna just do Etsy as an example here. And let's pick a product. I'll probably start with the Accent coffee mugs. I think this would be a good example. So let me select that. Uh, Printify right here. Now you can get the Printify printers. I'm gonna choose district photo because they have the 11 and 15 ounce size here. Now I'm gonna select both sizes and you can adjust the design on each of these sizes. You can see this is 11 ounce, this is 15 ounce. So before I generate mock-ups, I want to just, we'll just make this quick. Uh, we're gonna generate this, duplicate it so it's on the back side of the mug and the front or on both sides of the mug. And if I select all, once I have them in place, I can sync that and apply those changes to this one. Now let's do the same thing for the 15 ounce mug here. Make it a bit smaller and do the same thing here. And just, uh, Select, sync, again, you can see that's applied to all four of these listings. Now we have that ready. So let's select all colors, just so you can see what this looks like. We've got both sizes. Now down here, you'll see this new option, Printify mockups. First, the My Designs mockups are here for this particular product. But if you want the Printify mockups, you just go manage Printify mockups. Now, depending on the product, like if you're doing phone cases with a bunch of different models, it can take a bit to render the mockups. In this case, it's mugs. There's still quite a few colors I selected, two different sizes. So just keep that in mind. On most products, it's pretty, it's really fast. You know, you'll have these back in 10 seconds, uh, but on some products, it can take upwards of 30 seconds, maybe even a minute plus, depending on how many mockups are rendering. So this is really nice. So you got the different styles of this mockup from Printify here. So the front, right, left, back, just different views of the mug. So let's just, uh, let's just grab, let's go right here. And by selecting that, it'll pull up all of the preview of these mockups. You get all the different colors they offer for this particular mockup and also the sizes. So these are the 11 ounce. As you can see, these are still rendering. And if I scroll down, this is the bigger mug. You can tell by the way the bottom shaped and it's just a bit taller. Um, these are the 15 ounce. So let's say I wanted to include maybe two of these. Uh, we'll just go, or a couple of these. Go here and let's go get some 15 ounce sizes too. So you can add those to your listing like this. But let's say we wanted a different, uh, different mockup from Printify here. So I'm gonna select a different view here, different mockup. Again, it's rendering all these. And uh, we'll just grab, maybe we'll get a different color here that we haven't got yet. And just do that. So again, you can go through as many of these as you want, different views, different angles, basically any of the mockups they offer for this product. You can just do that, you can select them. You can see here and then select eight images. It'll add it to our listings. Might take a second for it to populate here. And we do have this little Printify icon basically stating these mockups are coming from Printify. So those are here. Now I can actually rotate through the other designs. This might take a minute, they're still rendering. So you can see it's adjusting slowly. Once it's rendered, it's fast, but the first time, you can see it might take a second there to uh, get these different mockups to render. Now let's go to the next listing here. And again, I could probably adjust that design file, make it a little bit more centered, but this is just an example to show you how this works. So you got these other mockups populating. Might take a second again for some of these to render, because there's a lot of different mockups that are rendering in the background there. But yeah, there you go. So with that being said, let's move on to another product. Again, you can add my designs mockups to here and just render those directly. So you can mix and match those or even your own custom mockups, which would appear in here if you linked it to this product. Okay, now let's go back and check out a clothing item. Maybe we'll go with the Gildan 18,000. Just choose a printer here. We'll go Monster Digital. You got the front, back, inner neck label. So I'm gonna just gonna do an inner neck label print real quick. And I'm gonna actually grab I think I have a My Designs logo in here somewhere. Maybe I don't. All right, we won't do that. We will just grab some random elements so you can see what that would look like. Fit to our board. 
And yes, we'll just sync that across all these, but I do need to delete this from all. There we go. That way, obviously that's not the ideal neck label, but I want to show you based on the print areas you select, then it's going to render that with Printify mockup. So let's select some of the lighter colors here. And um, this is just a My Designs mockup. And you can see in this case, we have a lot more mockups for this particular product because it's a very popular product. So we will actually just add one of the better mockups here and choose a color. I'm gonna delete that one. And then this is how you can mix and match My Designs with Printify mockups. So let's go load up some Printify mockups now. It might take a second here. All right, so that one was actually fairly fast. Um, again, all the different mockup previews here, you can roll, you can scroll over. They even have a, a generic size chart. We have better ones that will actually include your design on it. That's what's great about being able to mix and match between my design's mockups, Printify mockups, or your own custom mockups. But yeah, check this out. It's a bunch of different mockups to choose from. So I'm going with this generic one. I can, I'm gonna grab a few of these real quick. And let's get one of these as well. So I just added those to the listing. Let's actually just add their size chart so you can compare. Uh, I got that here, and now let's just add all seven of those here. There you go. So again, their size chart in that in that case, this is the My Designs mockup here. Then you got the Printify related mockups here. And again, I have multiple listings selected, so if I scroll over, you see it's re-rendering the My Designs one, but these are here. And I could obviously adjust that print file, move this up higher. I'm not gonna do that now, but you get the idea. So with that being said, that's a mix of My Designs and Printify mockups. You can go through the whole publishing process, actually save profile, and you can even add multi-product publishing. So if I want to add a Bella 3001 to the same listing using Printify for fulfillment, let's uh, pull that up right quick. And then I can add that particular product to our listing, I have like the Guild 18,000. And if I want to add a hoodie too, that's called multi-product publishing. And then you can include that with Printify mockups and my designs mockups, which is insanely powerful. So let's select Monster Digital here. And this one, we'll just keep it front. Again, just grabbing a few colors here. And let's go to Printify mockups. Now we can load up some of the other products from the Bell 3001 and add it to the same listing that we published to Etsy. So instead of offering, you know, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies on separate listings, you can do that, of course. But if you want to combine them into one consolidated listing, you can do that with my designs, even using Printify for fulfillment. Because you can't natively do that on Printify. Just one of the uh, many benefits of using my designs here. And let's grab a few of these. These are the Bell 3001s. Just show you that we can add it to the listing page. You kind of just pick and choose which ones you want. Let's go over, just grab one more and let's add those. So now you can see we got a mix of a My Designs mockup, various Printify mockups, size charts. If I wanted to go back to the Guild 18,000, I can show you we have. We have this for all of our products, but there's a couple different size charts you can see here, different styles. So I can add that and choose the color that I want to generate that in. So we can compare that to the Printify one here. But we like to render your design on it. So in this case, you got your design here. And then you got the Printify one. Now you won't need both of those. I just want to use this as a demo, but yeah. And then you can even generate video mockups, which will scroll through or will transition through all of these mockups and show that on Etsy in the search results page when someone hovers over your listing. So all you got to do is just toggle that on and it can mix the Printify mockups in with the My Designs mockups and your own custom mockups. All right, so we're almost done. I think we'll probably go look at one more product. Um, let's check out an ornament. One of the ones from Printify here. And let's make sure this is adjusted. It's a little too big here. Sync that so all these other ones are ideally in the middle. There we go. Now, this is the My Designs mock-up. And again, other mock-ups we got here, a few of those. We'll add a few of them to this. You can see what those look like. And now let's go load up some Printify ornaments and see what they have there. So this will work for any of the Printify products in our catalog. If you're using Printify for fulfilling a product, you can use it to render their mockups as well. So in this case, they actually have quite a few ornament mockups, which is awesome. So let's grab this one, this one, maybe this, give a more realistic preview of how, how the size of it. And that, I, then we can just add those to our listing. Now we got two My Designs mockups here. Wait for these Printify ones to finish rendering. Take a look at those. It's really, really nice. So yeah, I wanted to show that off to you, show you how easy that is. And now you have access, if you have your Printify link, count a link to My Designs to all of their product mockups for any of their products that you're publishing through My Designs. So that's a huge addition because it allows us first to add way more of their products to our catalog way faster. So you should start seeing in the, in the coming weeks, uh, us adding 20 to 40, maybe even 50 new products per day. And our goal, with the Printify catalog is to have their entire catalog inside the My Designs product catalog for you to 
you know, create products around, publish them, and then have the fulfillment, fulfillment come right through my designs, right over to your Printify account, set up on the exact SKU that was ordered, completely streamlined, getting the best of both worlds between my designs and Printify. So that's it for this video. I could go and demonstrate a, a ton of other products, but I think that covers it pretty well. So I think you guys will love this. Let me know in the comments below. We'll talk soon. Thank <laughs> you.